displayed in front of me is the complete FTP manager just after installation of the standard edition and the manager has been launched. The first thing you see is what's known as the overview and that gives an overview of all the different configuration settings of the manager. On the left we have the protocols available, FTP, FTPS which is FTP over SSL, a secure version of FTP. FTPS implicit is a legacy version of FTPS, not widely used now but still useful to have. And SFTP which is file transfer over an SSH connection. Next window is the users. We can add use and remove users. And finally displays the file system that's available and you can add different folders and things like that. There's also a link for showing the full menu which I'll briefly explore after adding each user. We'll add a non-Windows user which is a user internal to complete FTP. We add the name, we don't need all these other details, they're not compulsory. I'll enter a silly password which should never be used in production. Click on next, it'll create a default home folder. Apply and here we have a user called test. Home folder, there's a folder called test. If I go back here, I click on the properties tab, I can see the properties of this user. You can see the home folder is home slash test. The password can be reset and there's plenty of other settings down there including the protocols that this user is permitted to use. Let's have a look at the full menu. We still have the overview, the left hand tab, more detailed technical settings, then the users which we now have the user properties as part of that tab, folders with folder properties, monitoring allowing you to monitor what's going on the server. You can see that we have one user which is me connected. Auto bans are bans where users who have tried to connect supplied an incorrect password multiple times they are automatically banned from the server for a fixed period of time. And finally diagnostics. Displays our log files. Click on diagnostics.log and we can see the contents of the log file displayed below. You can save that log file, refresh to get the latest one and importantly you can save to local disk and save down to diagnostics.zip and if you need to contact support we'll be asking you to save the diagnostics and send them to us. Importantly you can change the level of logging and debug is the most useful level when you're trying to resolve an issue. It gives a performance warning because it can slow the server down, logs a lot more information but it's very useful for diagnosing problems. Once you've solved the problem or you've logged the issue and sent it to us, click on performance warning and it allows you to set the logging level back to information as you can see there. Admin access have different settings for the administrative user. Finally licensing. All the licensing details displayed here. As we're in a trial you can upgrade to the professional edition to try that. You can activate your license after purchasing and you can also compare the different editions by clicking on this link here. Also in the help menu you can view, it's a link for viewing the user guide. And that's all that we have for the overview of the complete FTP manager for the standard edition.